hey, can Bitcoin reach 100,000 this year, 2024, before we turn the calendar? Um, I think we can. There's a lot of momentum. Let's put this in perspective so uh, you can, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I think it's important to, when we look at Bitcoin, given its volatility, or at least its historical volatility, it's going to become less volatile going forward would be my guess because of the institutionalization of, um, of Bitcoin. Given the volatility, we need to use something called a logarithmic chart, which basically kind of makes the swings a bit more relevant. And if we look at the historical moves on a logarithmic chart, we can see that over the course of really just a few months, this thing has in the past rallied like 100% and assume it's not 100%, uh, but a little bit less. And then we look at the move that we've had so far since the basically the post-election move. Uh, I'm going to say that's so far been about maybe you know 30%. So if it's not 30% uh, and not 100%, maybe we can see a move that's a bit closer to you know 50 percent or so and that pretty much almost exactly gets us to about a hundred thousand so when looking at bitcoin it's important to understand that it's a volatile asset and that can cut both ways meaning it can correct very quickly down to 80 70 thousand but given its volatility it can also be at hundred thousand very quickly just keep in mind that the trajectory for the time being uh, in bitcoin seems to be higher and that move from here, as I'm recording this, it's trading, you know, $87,000, $88,000. A move to 100000 really isn't a very huge, you know, multi, out of standard, standard deviation type of move, nor is a move back down to 80000 So is $100,000 reachable? I think it is.